Hey guys, so today I will tell you a hair care routine or a hair care tip that you guys are probably doing that is causing your hair to fall out. And that is excessively oiling your hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with oiling your hair because I'm all for oiling the hair, but when you do this excessively on the hair, it actually has more cons than pros. I've been oiling my hair for years, so here are the things that I find that if you're not oiling your hair properly, it can actually hinder your hair growth instead of making your hair grow. So the first one is you have to be very selective in picking what kind of oils that would work best on your hair. So I know a lot of people would always say like you need to go for the coconut oil, but as much as I love coconut oil, it actually works for my hair. Some people, their scalp does not really like coconut oil and that is actually the source of why their hair is falling out. Now, coconut oil is not bad in general because if you just put it on the mid and on the bottom part of your hair, it can definitely benefit your hair. But sometimes leaving the coconut oil on your scalp for a long period of time, that is a thing that causes um, hair fall, especially if you're using the pure um, coconut milk um, on the hair since it's very loaded with protein and if your hair is protein sensitive sometimes that can actually um, cause your hair to become stiff instead of that being soft. That also includes you actually knowing what kind of like the porosity of your hair basically. And then also the second issue is just leaving the oils too long on your hair or leaving it overnight. Now to some people, they can just get away with this, especially if your hair is curly, then maybe this is not gonna be an issue for you because your hair really just loves that moisture. But however, if you have sensitive scalp or if your hair is straight like mine, it's not, I find that it's not really necessary to do that or to leave that overnight on your hair because leaving oils on your hair overnight can actually weigh down your hair. And that I think is the third issue, um, along with the fourth issue of like your hair actually um, smells. Your hair smelling like oils, especially if the oils that you're using are organic carrier oil that does not have any scent to it, leaving that on your hair for a long period of time can actually make your hair stink, you know, because they don't have fragrance in them. They actually have this um, distinct herbally scent. Now, if that is not a problem for you, then you could go ahead and do that. But however, if you leave that for a long period of time on your hair, mix sometimes with your sweat, <laughs> it doesn't really smell good. And also, as I've said, it can weigh down your hair and it can make your hair greasy. And also with the issue with the greasiness as well, if you don't properly wash out the oils in your hair, your hair is gonna look flat. So that's exactly why when you oil your hair, it's a must to use a clarifying shampoo for that. And the last issue of excessively oiling your scalp is that Sometimes if you don't properly wash it out, to some people they develop mold, but I'm not so sure if that's a proper term. I think they said it's fungi. You know, like it can actually leave some dandruff, especially if you have seborrheic dermatitis. If you're suffering from seborrheic dermatitis, it is not advisable to leave oils for a long period of time on your scalp because those fungi actually feeds on oils. So those are several things that you guys have to consider before using oils on your scalp for a long period of time. And as I've said, I'm not saying that oils are bad because I myself is doing that, but the point is, is that you don't have to leave it on your hair for a long period of time and be very selective with the oils that you're actually using on your hair as well. Because if you have sensitive scalp, some people may experience hair fall, especially if they're using heavy oils. But you also have to determine like the texture of your hair. So if your hair is of course like mine, you can get away with almost any oils, but if the strands of your hair is fine, it's best to go for the lighter types of oils on your hair as well. So that's it, you guys. Also, let me know in the comments down below what hair care habit that you guys are no longer following or no longer serves your hair that you guys have stopped doing as well. And once again, if you found this content valuable, please do share it to a friend and I will see you on my next one. Bye.